Ever dreamed of turning your own photos, those of your family, friends, or even your favorite celebrity, into Pixar or Disney-style 3D animations? Stick with me until the end of this tutorial, and I'll teach you how to do it step by step. All without the need for expensive software or hardware, just the power of artificial intelligence. Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert your images into 3D animation style using Design AI. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. Let's visit the Design AI website. Using the login button at the top right corner, we create an account and log in. This is the dashboard of the Design AI website. It has many features and capabilities that I'll cover in future tutorials. But today, we'll only focus on converting real images into 3D animations and cartoons in the Pixar and Disney style. First, we need to upload any image of our choice. It could be a picture of ourselves, family, friends, or even a celebrity. To do this, in the Select from an Image section, click the Select a Photo button. In the new window that opens, choose and upload your desired image. After a short wait, depending on your internet speed, the image uploads and appears in the workspace. Once done, the Image to Image panel on the left opens. Design AI offers many default styles, such as anime, paper cutout, cartoon, and watercolor. To access these styles, click on the No Style tab. A drop-down list with dozens of exciting styles will appear. The styles are categorized and accessible from the left menu. Click on the 3D option. Here you'll find a list of styles that transform images into 3D. I recommend testing all of them to see which one you prefer. In my tests for this tutorial, one option worked best. Among the 3D transformation styles, I select the Innocent Cutie style. We also need a good prompt, but don't worry. We can either type it manually or use the Auto Prompt option. I click on Auto Prompt. This option uses AI to analyze the image and automatically generate a textual prompt. Since I'm using an image of a famous actor named Will Smith, I don't need a complex prompt. So, I clear the previous prompt and simply type the actor's name in the prompt box. This helps the AI understand better since today's AIs are well acquainted with all famous actors. Below the prompt box is the Style Intensity option. This adjusts how strongly the chosen style is presented in the result. In my tests, a value of 0.7 worked well for me. Further down is the Structure Match option, which adjusts how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of content structure. Again, 0.7 worked well in my tests. Further down is the Color Match option, which helps better preserve color tones in the main image regions and increases the strength of the structure match. Further down is the Face Match option, which helps preserve face identities. After these settings, I click on the Generate button. My request is processed and placed in a queue. After a short wait, four images are generated, and their thumbnails appear in the results panel on the right. Now I need to review the images with the 3D style applied. I hover over these thumbnails to view the larger versions. When hovering over the thumbnails, a small download icon appears. By double-clicking on any thumbnail, I can add my selected image to the workspace. Then, I click on the Layers tab, similar to Photoshop. With the Hide and Show option, I can browse through the images. After selecting the desired layer, I click on the Export button at the top right corner. In the Export panel, click on File Type, choose JPEG from the drop-down list, and then click the Download button to save the image to your device. Design AI gives you a certain amount of free tokens upon creating an account, allowing you to use the site's services for free. However, the free plan adds a watermark to the images. To remove the watermark and access all services, you'll need to purchase a subscription plan, which costs a bit but is worth it considering the services provided. It's important to note that I am just a content creator and haven't received any money from Design AI. This video is not an advertisement and has no sponsors. I made it solely for informational purposes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to convert images to 3D animation styles. If you learned something new, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, let me know which image you thought looked best in 3D in the comments below. We have a lot more AI tutorials coming up, 
so be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything and stay updated. See you in the next tutorial.